when we heat a substance it changes from one state to another what this heat is what is the role of this heat latent heat heat absorbed or released as the result of a phase change is latent heat in other words heat required by a substance to change its state without rise of its temperature is latent heat the word latent means hidden there is no temperature change and this is always supplied to change the state of substance since there is no change in kinetic energy of the particles we do not observe raise of the temperature it is called latent or hidden heat because it becomes hidden in the substance undergoing change of state and does not show its presence by raising the temperature when we consider the role of latent heat it helps in break down the force of attraction between the particles types of latent heat there are two types of latent heat first latent heat of fusion and second latent heat of vaporization amount of heat in joules which is required to convert unit mass or 1 kg solid into its liquid state without rise in temperature is known as latent heat of fusion it has been found by experiment that 3.34 into 10 to the power 5 joule of heat is required to convert 1 kg of ice in water at its melting point so this heat is known as latent heat of fusion of ice similarly the amount of heat in joules which is required to convert unit mass or 1 kg liquid in its vapor state without rise in temperature is known as latent heat of vaporization it has been found by experiment that 22.5 into 10 to the power 5 joule of heat is required to convert 1 kg of water at its boiling point 100 degree celsius to steam and this is known as latent heat of vaporization of water different substances have different latent heat of fusion and different latent heat of vaporization its unit is joule per kilogram there are so many examples in our daily life where we do see the involvement of latent heat such as example 1 water is ice has a cooling effect whereas water as steam may cause severe burn why so the reason ice melts it absorbs the heat equal to the latent heat of fusion from the surroundings therefore causes cooling effect but steam releases the extra heat equal to the latent heat of vaporization which it has observed when water has converted into steam so steam produces severe burns example 2 on suffering from fever which will lower down the body temperature more effectively ice or ice cold water ice will lower the body temperature more effectively than ice cold water
because latent heat of fusion of ice is quite high. Ice is therefore expected to absorb more heat energy from the body and will lower the body temperature more than ice cold water. Thus, it has been found that burns caused by the steam are much more severe than those caused by boiling water though both of them are at the same temperature of 100 degrees celsius and ice or ice cold water if compared ice is much cooler than the ice cold water with the latent heat we also do experience the other phenomena in our surrounding which we will discuss in our next class.